Hey, Craig here. Well, I just got the chip guard for the uh, for the Tormach 770. Uh, I'm going to be putting this in so I don't have uh, chips flying all over the shop here. All right. All right. The chip guard uh, comes with uh, the two end pieces here. Uh, the piece that goes um, underneath in the front here. The uh, plexiglass. Uh, two handles for the plexiglass and uh, hardware. I uh, didn't see any instructions, but you know, I guess this isn't IKEA furniture, huh? So it seems like the easiest way to install this would be to uh, first I put the uh, four cap head screws around the edges here, and you just slide one over this way. Got a little. See a little slot right there with a little hole, and uh, slide that over that way. Leave them a little, a little loose so you can move them around a little bit, but not loose it so loose that they're just going to fall off. And then uh, with this part right here facing in the way, that way, and these facing up, just pull this up underneath here. The uh, the the threads there's uh there's threads in these pieces right here that this screws through, um, but the there's paint on there so I had to run the screw through that side to get the paint out on the other side. So I'll just put this up here. paint off it's uh, much easier. Do one there. Actually loosening these so I can show you that uh, this thing actually slides out. You have this thing together, it just comes right out. So if you need to clean or something like that, that's kind of cool. So you want to put it back. Uh, you want to do something on there that this gets in the way with. You want to put something big on there. You're uh, <clears throat> ready to put this back on. Just slide it down and slide it back in. Pretty cool. All right, I'll uh, get this tightened down and then uh, put the uh, plexiglass on. All right. Okay, I got the handles on. That's obviously kind of self-explanatory. And uh, that goes right down in there. And... Alright. Looks like I got a little something extra here with the... Uh, down in the corner here. Looks like somebody was uh, welding the corner back in there and it uh, got stuck and they just kind of left it there. Then it got painted. <laughs> oh well. Okay, uh, well I guess that's about it. Um, actually one thing I did want to mention, I was actually looking at getting a tooling plate. Uh, but I didn't want to order the tooling plate until I actually, oops, sorry, let me zoom out. I don't want to get the tooling plate until I knew the actual dimensions of the inside of, of the chip guard. And the tooling plate that I was looking at getting was uh, 4140, but it's at uh, 26 inches. So, what we have of actual clear space from this edge to this edge right here 
because uh, obviously you can't clamp anything pulling plate or anything down on here you're basically looking at about 24 and a quarter I would just figure 24 24 inches to be safe so you got 24 and obviously uh, this is open clear um, but looks like from the front edge of this right here to back here you got about 14 and a half inches right there um, of course you got plenty of clearance there um, I think the tooling plate I was looking at was like 12 inches by three quarter inch thick uh, 4140 uh, but uh, that's not gonna work because uh, 26 inches is uh, too long you know I could modify the the tooling plate or something but I really don't want to cut it so I don't know I may just end up making my own tooling plate I probably end up being cheaper that way anyway so I guess they just saved me some money uh, but I guess that's about it by the way those four corners where those uh, cap head screws go in they actually had some plugs in there so I'm just gonna put those in my box of miscellaneous parts for the mill in case I need to put them back in if I take this out and get a full enclosure or something so all right All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, uh, please do.